So you are here because you're trying to learn Python and uh, before you made several attempts but due to some gaps in projects and the requirement for learning Python changed and you are you know in a gap you would forgotten totally what you have learned here you can see I can even remember how to install a package so what do you do you do the effort again you try to learn from scratch here I'm doing it but I'm gonna be smart enough to record this and uh, I hope one of you or some of you get the benefit from this video hello hello and welcome let's install Python today from scratch and uh, I will show you a few things install how to install pip how to upgrade a package as well as how to create a virtual environment so you can run some test projects and not interfere with your existing Python main installation and, and the main packages that you have, right? Let's get going. So let's get ourselves to python.org website and when you click download, it automatically detects whether you're running a 32-bit, who runs 32-bit by the way, and 64-bit OS. Once it detects and you install and you click the download button, it downloads the file. Okay, start your installation and make sure you click Add Python to Path. This is very important. Move on to customization. All the selected options are important. I wanted all these packages, so I left them as alone. Click Next. So here you can see that uh, most all of them could be important, but I, cho I chose this one. Uh, I wanted some basic binaries, some uh, libraries already installed. So hit uh, install. This is going to clean install your Python with some basic libraries. What that means is I don't have to install pip separately. It comes in do within the Python installer. So pip will be installed and that's what you're going to use to install other libraries or packages. Well, checking the box to add Python in your path enables you to just open command prompt and type in Python to launch Python. Uh, Python is not a native Windows app, so if you do this, just open command prompt and type Python and Python will launch. Just like that. Okay, just like a good student, let's follow along. We're going to open a command prompt and let's do Python version. What version am I running? Of course, 3.10. I just installed it. So PY or Python both works. Here we're going to see Python and um, what version of pip we got. So let's upgrade our pip version. The command would be python-m and then pip install and then dash dash upgrade and then you know pip you're telling using the pip upgrade my pip mmm pip it almost sounds dirty giving you an advanced hint that you will notice future that pi or python dash a space dash m was not required I just did it for practice okay uh, it, it uninstalled 21.2.4 version of pip and it installed the new 22 version Okay, another good command is to find out what kind of packages you got. So pip space list will show you all your listed uh, packages that you have. The reason if you were to use a virtual environment to run different projects, you have to install uh, different packages and you need to know what you got. So that's why pip space list is a very useful command. Here you can see that I'm installing PyH Connect libraries. But this is my fresh installation, right? This is, imagine the global installation for my laptop. I haven't even created a virtual environment. So a pip list will come handy right away. If you have taken my hint before, you realize I'm not using py space dash m anymore. Let's take a look. So far I have these many uh, libraries installed or packages installed. Now I'm gonna create the environment, the virtual environment. These are installed in my global python install copy right now so virtual environment this is how you create it p 
py space dash m v e n v stands for virtual environment then you provide the directory you want to do let's give it a name because i'm gonna install this in project folder the project that i'm going to be creating the virtual environment for so okay c drive then you know you have the python projects and silver peak yep i've recently joined silver peak so i have a silver peak project and here i'm going to just create that um, venv folder so what python's going to do it's going to create those directory and dump all the python basic installation file into the scripts folder let's take a look now you have created the python's virtual environment you have to activate it though let's go ahead and activate it and this is what an activated virtual environment look like did we not update pip few seconds ago well it's saying we didn't guess what this is the virtual environment we did update pip on our global copy of python's installation on our laptop this is a separate virtual environment this environment was created for a specific project and we should install those specific requirements requirements of packages within this environment so we're going to go ahead and install the couple of required packages here now well we're getting better at installing different packages right but what if the list is big what if the project requires imagine 15 different modules uh, how are you going to speed that well, usually a good programmer would have that requirement in a text file. You can simply uh, you know, point to the text file and in install all the package and the version listed in there. Okay, so far we have these packages installed, right? The reason I'm showing you, if a requirement file is provided with a specific version, and if you already have a newer version installed here, it is going to overwrite the newer version and install the version that you have specified in that requirements text file. Let me show you from the get-go. darn it it's saying that it cannot find the requirements.txt file well either it's a wrong folder or i misspelled the requirements so it ended up being that i renamed the file requirements.txt and windows also add the txt extension so it's requirements.txt.txt well you get the point will that resolve the problem now i you can see that installation proceeded fine and here is the new list of packages that i have compared to whatever the packages i had before it only upgraded or i should say downgraded the requirements packages within this virtual environment well guys i think this is it for today this is one of the shortest video i made and again the goal is to record my journey to learn python and hopefully this short thing is going to help you out and you can proceed further along learning python thank you very much and have a wonderful time